Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. How are you all doing? A little bit of an elephant going on there today. <laughs> Having a quick coffee, been working all day really, really hard since this morning. Great day today to talk about a really interesting subject that has fascinated me over the 16 years that I've worked in this field of work, which is sat with my clients and trying to understand the pain, the suffering, and understand where that pain and suffering came from and how and why that pain and suffering was given to a set person feeling those negative, painful, and sometimes damn right nasty energies that is given. We call them energies, but it's, it's words. Words are energy. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Some people speak and say nothing. Some people say nothing and you can feel everything. So it's all about energy. But we live in a world now that face to face is, seems to disappear. It's gone and now this so-called virus is here. Now it's, there's, I, sorry, did you say something? Keep away, keep away. It's like, come on, now the world is only really in this illusion of the black screen and that's our life now that's basically reality because everything else has been separated from us the touch love it's gone it's gone for now will it ever go back to how it should be and will love ever return to those that are totally in fear who knows but right now what i see is a planned demic has taken full effect and people are now solely emerged in a screen and would prefer to be inside than go outside and it really is tearful. Today we're going to talk about the suffering that people feel and it doesn't matter if you're world famous because I'm sure a lot of famous people out there do feel it but actually is your pain and suffering any worse than mine <laughs> it's a great question i always say you know pain is pain suffering is suffering no matter who you are um and at the end of the day i saw this slippery slope of how easy it is to embrace negative than positive I mean, positive, you know what? Oh, thanks very much, yeah. You're a really nice guy. Oh yeah, thanks very much, thanks a lot. You're an asshole, Jesus Christ. My um, mentor, when I was a hairdresser, once said to me, you're not gonna make a good hairdresser. I said, why not? She said, because you embrace suffering more than you embrace um, people who pat you on the back, people who encourage you, people who tell you that you're a really good hairdresser. Mark, I've seen you. You've you've spent one month here cutting people's hair, doing a pretty good job. People are so happy. Your returning clients are growing so much. Over in one month, people are booking in, people are telling their friends. And you're sat here now with your head down because one client has been awful to you and complained and they've walked out and all of those people <laughs> in that one month who have said what an amazing hairdresser you are their voice is meaningless you're not even hearing it so your only embrace is the suffering from one person and she said let's take that one person let's look at that one person and I said, no, no, I don't feel good. I don't, you don't even know if I want to do this anymore. Come on, you've all been there. You all understand that feeling. Well, she said, Mark, this lady's never satisfied. I've cut her hair. She's, she was upset with my cut. She's upset with everybody's cut. Nobody can make her happy. It isn't about the cut, Mark. It's about the person. It's about her sadness, her unfulfilled life. And everything in her life is sad, is a, a mistake, is wrong, is, is all bad. So you can't bring joy to somebody. Even if you made her hair perfect, 
it wouldn't be perfect because she lives in that sadness, in that sorrow. She invests her life in that. Still didn't mean anything to me. All I remember was I, I cut her, her hair and she wasn't happy. Why is that? Why is that, Mark? Why is it that you bear so much energy and so much focus in this negative one person over the thousands of other people who say you're doing a great job? Think about that. Don't just blame me. You're included in this. Don't turn away and say, I don't do that because the chances are you do. The chances are you feel bad when somebody says something that goes against your thought process or what you've done or what you've achieved or, or what you've made. Okay. So let, let's talk about that today. Let's really get to the, the, the depth, the, 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 the source of this energy. Life is an interesting thing, whether you're a singer, whether you're an actress, whether you're a mother, whether you're a healer, whether you're a comedian. Life is interesting because we try and create something that we believe in ourself is going to make a difference in the world. And we seem to acknowledge the fact that a negative comment comes to us as the most profound energy in and amongst the thousands of nice messages. Is that the person sending the message, does that person hold great power? Or is it that we give our power away so easy because we feel bad we feel that that person is right. We have done wrong. We have upset or created pain and suffering in that person. What is that energy in between your looking at that post and that person putting that post there and then creating something that is overwhelmingly powerful? What I've noticed over these 16 years of sitting with clients feeling bad because my best friend said this behind my back, my partner did this, that. It's an energy that is manifested because our eyes or our ears have captivated and taken that literally with whatever was said and we then process it in the way we only know and how we process that and what effort and what energy we put into that ball of words is so interesting and so fascinating. What I noticed is that fear, anger, jealousy, depression, sadness, craziness, um, stubbornness, pride, Ego carries an energy that frightens the crap out of us. It really scares us. It scares good people. It scares kind people. It messes people's head up when we are only trying to make a difference. I've talked about this for so many years and said to you that the people who are pushing this energy of all what I've just said because of how they're feeling and because of the manipulation, what I believe is also a universal energy of darkness. I don't call it evil, I just call it darkness. There is an underlined energy around us of the yin and the yang, good and bad, happy, sad, love, anger, hate. So there's always these energies which we call sometimes evil or curses or voodoo or black magic or the dark arts. They're always around and that energy can manipulate a person 
who is lost, who is angry, who is adamant and filled with ego and pride. That energy manifests in people and it creates a very powerful energy if we focus on it. And to me, the only answer to all of this that I've seen over the years is no one has the power over you unless you give that power away. And what I mean by giving it, what I mean by giving it away is by trying to focus on that person and understand that person and then understand ourselves by why we feel we've triggered them only goes to a really bad ball of negativity again of, of pain and suffering. Because like many people sat in front of me, man, woman, boy, girl, trying to understand their partner, I would often look and see and feel and say, how are you ever to understand a situation when the person that is giving you all this negative energy doesn't understand themselves. I mean, when somebody truly understands themselves, they understand life. They understand how it works and who they are and where they're going in life. They don't have time to be judgmental, to be angry, to be, to be pointing fingers. They're just busy doing what they're doing in their life and they're creating, making, making a difference in the world. So anybody who's quick to judge is trying to put you into their box, trying to create their world by influencing you, by saying you've done wrong and don't do that again and do this because you're doing it wrong and you should do it my way, not your way. That's why you're getting me angry because you're not doing what I want and what I want to see and what I believe is real. So I'm angry and you are an idiot. You are a monkey. You are this, you are that, you are this and you are evil and you must be a conspiracy and you must be doing these wrong things and so on. So you're going to get this energy when people are unbalanced. There is nothing wrong with communication. There's nothing wrong with having a debate. But when pe people attack you and say the most ridiculous, ludicrous and really personal attacks, you have to realize that that's not coming from a balanced soul. That's coming from a place of ego, of blindness, of sadness, of anger, of lack of love, lack of empathy, lack of understanding, lack of knowledge. And when the penny drops and we realize that each person that you focus your energy on who's attacked you, if you actually get into their life and sit them down and take everything off them, clear the ego away, cleanse them down, make them feel good, make them happy and say to them, now, do you remember what you said about you, that person, you, I'm talking about you, so remember what you said about her or him just there, what you said on social media, you said all them bad things, Tell me how you really feel now that you've been cleansed and you're cleared and you feel you've had a healing session, you feel great. Tell me what you think. I feel terrible. I can't believe I said all those things. I was such in a bad place and you know, they're not a bad person, it's just me. Okay, thanks for that. Did you hear that? This message today, guys, is for you who go through so much pain and suffering because of what other people and how other people treat you and how they abuse you with their words on social media. I'm here to tell you that every single person who has ever attacked you has never attacked you. They have never been personal and what comes out of their mouth and what's written down is not real or true. It is merely a scream, a cry for help because they are in a bad place and they just want to be heard. And sometimes when people don't really have a voice, when people really don't believe in themselves, talking silently and being nice doesn't work for them. 
they need to scream because they really believe that their voice isn't heard. So if they scream loud enough and they say things more shocking and more awful, then people will react to them and show interest. Thus, the moral of today's story is really simple. When you understand the psychology and the energy within negative attacks, dark attacks, painful and personal attacks, you realize that there's only two things you can do. You can embrace that and jump into it and feel that pain and suffering, whether it's thinking about it, whether it's pondering over it, whether it's playing tennis with it, or you can step back, take a breath and say, you know what, this is a true reflection of this person. Ultimately, dear friends, when I was a hairdresser, I knew I did my best. And that lady's hair that I cut, I looked at it and was really proud of that cut. It was the best I could do. It was my best effort. And I should have been happy by saying, you know what? This is the best I can do and I really love what I've done. And I'm proud of this cut. And that's why you came to me. I gave my best shot. This is me. This is all I have. This is my word. This is my truth. This is my experience. This is my gift. This is who I am. And that's all what's important. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less, that's who you are. And when you embrace that, like I did many years ago, it doesn't affect you for very long anymore. There is nothing wrong with feeling what somebody said for a few seconds. Embrace it and think, okay, I felt that, that ain't mine, and let it go. Now, if I hit somebody over the head with a hammer and somebody says all sorts and says, you awful person, you've taken that hammer and you hit them over the head. Okay, I embrace that. I have done wrong. I deserve what's been said. But if you've never hurt anybody and if you've only put out your message of love and what you believe and think and you're being attacked because of that, then that is a different energy completely. I think today is a great day to embrace the fact that you are amazing and the fact that you are right and you are wrong. You will do amazing things in this world and you will do things that are deemed a mistake. I remember putting out a beautiful, beautiful um, video once and it was, it was really quick. It lasted under a minute. The music was perfect. <laughs> the music was beautiful. It was like beyond beautiful. And the image came up on the screen, which was of a heart, a beautiful heart, and it just looked gorgeous. And then it disappeared and the music went off. This video has disappeared now, but it had something like hundreds of thousands of likes and it had many dislikes if somebody can dislike something beautiful and the word love and a heart then it tells you so much about how people are in life and that no matter love can still be deemed as suffering. Beautiful music can still be poison to somebody's ears because every single soul has a reaction to every single action that is taken. And that reaction brings forward a memory in their mind that can either be filled with joy or can be filled with hate and anger because of what has happened to them in life. So today, my dear friends, I simply put it to you. 
do not focus on the negative. Do not focus on personal attacks. Do not waste your energy trying to understand why people attack. It is merely a reflection of how they feel at any given moment. That's my message today. Let it go and keep doing what you do. Share your truth no matter what people think and say. No matter what people think and say. Okay, doesn't matter, good or bad. Make it the same, it's okay, it's fine. Thank you for saying nice things, but you know what? Still the same way, say horrible things, it's okay. Keep it the same. And that way you will stay healthy, both mind, body and spirit. If you go down the path of the dark rabbit running down the dark hole and looking to find answer, looking to see why they've said this, you will create pain and suffering in this ball of negativity. You will create your own suffering, not through them, but from you. You have the power over everything. So direct your energy towards love, towards beauty, towards kindness, towards making a difference in this, this world. Today, never again focus on a single negative message on your black screen ever again. Let it go. That's my message today. It is that easy. But maybe you need to go through it first to understand. I won't take that away from you. So cry when somebody says something awful. Feel the pain and suffering. But always remember in the back of the mind, pain is inevitable. But suffering is optional. Have a great day, guys. Love you all.